Good morning, Panthers. Today is Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. Please join me for a few moments of morning prayer and reflection. Let's begin with our mission statement. St. Anthony de Padua Catholic School develops lifelong learners who live their faith through stewardship and are committed to Catholic virtues and academic excellence. Today's reading. As we await the birth of Jesus, Isaiah describes the coming of the Lord as a day of rejoicing. The Lord God will come as a shepherd who will care for his flock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom mm -hmm. and gently lead the mother sheep the word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. Why do you think that Jesus is like a good shepherd? As we wait for the celebration of Jesus's birth, oh God, show us how to use this time to make our hearts ready. May we ask for forgiveness when we have done wrong and may we forgive others when they have wronged us. We pray in the name of the good shepherd Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Our flag comes to us today from Jillian in kindergarten. Thank you so much, Jillian. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. We have no birthdays to announce today, so a very happy unbirthday to everyone. Our virtue of focus this week is patience. Again, patience is one virtue that supports the virtue of humility, which we believe is the root of all virtues, putting others before ourselves. Jesus, others, then yourself. St. Patrick is often associated with the virtue of patience. St. Patrick of Ireland is one of the world's most popular saints. He was born in Roman Britain, and when he was 14 or so, he was captured by Irish pirates during a raiding party and taken to Ireland as a slave to herd and tend sheep. After escaping, he later returned to Ireland after he was ordained. He often used shamrocks to explain the Holy Trinity, and entire kingdoms were eventually converted to Christianity after hearing Patrick's message. The opposing vice of patience, the weakness to be unable to endure or not accept delay, pain, discomfort, or disappointment. Some steps to deal with impatience when you feel it, because we all do tend to feel impatient. And remember, our goal is to grow in these virtues. So things you can do when you feel impatient. Acknowledge how you're feeling. Take a deep breath. Understand that you may not be able to change how you feel, but you can control your thoughts and how you act on those feelings. Offer it up to God. Offer that suffering you are experiencing through a real prayer of intention. Know that it will pass. All right, Panthers, I believe that's all of our announcements today. We don't have any special announcements. So it's Tuesday. We've got a few more days left in the week before Christmas break. So thank you for remaining uh, focused on your schoolwork and preparing our hearts for the birth of Jesus. Before we sign off, let's recite our St. Anthony Faith Pledge. We, the students and faculty of St. Anthony de Padua Catholic School, vow to be Christ's light for the world. May our eyes see Christ in one another. May our mouths speak words of love and kindness. May our ears listen for ways to serve. May our hands reach out to help. 
May our feet walk closely with Jesus so that we may live in his light. Jesus, light for our world, shine in us and through us. Have a great day, Panthers. And St. Anthony de Padua, pray for us.